Right, You're watching the Weiss channel. That, 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 that. All right. Today. Oh, no. Um, but it means that you're being recorded. I mean, your voice is being recorded. Today we're doing interpreting the line of best fit. Okay. I need a pass. You got a pass? Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So what I am going to ask is that you focus here. All right. I'm going to ask you to focus because I understand every time you show something on a screen and you turn off lights, it's like, oh man, time to go to sleep. No, don't go to sleep. All right. Here we go. I know, but it's kind of hard to see. But it's um, 136. I'll see everybody up now. The what? Shit. It wasn't me, actually. I just corrected somebody else. Who's this from? Okay. Can you see this? All right. We you turn the lights off, please? Okay, so now, do you, yeah, the last two days we've been doing, uh, we've been finding the equation of a line, and there's points directly on the line. In real life, are there, are there always going to be points exactly on the line? Heck no, okay? So what's going to happen is there are going to be a lot of situations when they when you make a line this is called a line of best fit okay this is a line of best fit the line of best fit uh is basically what works best according to the points these are actual points and this is just an approximation of what the each point would be do you understand what i'm saying okay all right so all right Lamonte has a part-time job at an ice skating rink selling hot cocoa. He decided to plot the number of hot cocos he sold relative to the day's high temperature and then draw a line of best fit. So in other words, you can see as the, um, as the temperature is getting warmer, he's selling fewer hot cocos, which kind of makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. So the question is, all right, here's the question. Here, what you've got here is, here are the high temperatures, all right? 45 degrees, 40 degrees, 35 degrees, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, and this is going to be zero, zero right? So the question is, what does the lines y-intercept represent? What's the y-intercept? Right here, this is the y-intercept. What's the temperature at the y-intercept? Say it again. What's zero, right? So then what does the what does it represent? It re represents the amount of hot cocos you're selling when the temperature is, say it one more time, zero. Okay. So today you're gonna have these multiple choice questions. Okay. Um, is it now? Is it the actual number of hot cocos sold? Is it the actual number? Is this the an exact number here? Oh. No. All of these dots, all of these dots, all of these dots, this dot, th these are actual dots, okay? Actual numbers, okay? The, all of this on the line, the entire line is always going to be... Um, it, not actual, it's going to be a prediction, a prediction, okay? It's going to be approximate, okay? So if you see in these cases, when it's representing a prediction, 
there's and you have two answers that say actual obviously the ones that say actual are not going to be the answer right so is it going to be a prediction of the temperature when zero hot cocos are sold or a prediction of the number of hot cocos sold when the temperature is zero it's when the temperature is what uh, when the temperature is what? what? Say it for a fifth time. I had you say it five times. Zero, right? When the temperature is, is, is zero. Is it when the hot cocoa is zero? No, it's when the temperature is zero. Okay? Okay? Okay. Let me show an, another example. All right. Um, okay. Uh, math teacher plots grades on, uh, and the number of hours studying, meaning, or number of hours they do with homework, okay? So, for example, here's the amount of hours doing homework, and here's the quiz scores. Do you see how the quiz scores are getting higher in general as you, the more you do your homework, the better your scores are. You see what I'm saying? But what's, what's it saying at zero? At zero, what does this mean? Zero what? Does it mean zero on a quiz score? Or does it, this mean zero hours? Zero time, zero hours, right? If you spend zero hours, this is the exact quiz score that you get or a predicted quiz score? Predicted. Does everyone understand what I'm saying? That's... At the y-intercept, it's going to be a predicted score, okay? All right. Now, interpreting slope, okay? Okay. So, people are going to a concert okay so as as the time goes on the number of people coming into the music hall are increasing okay so we're interpreting slope all right now do you see how along here it's this is the number of people in the music hall okay and over here is the amount of time. Time past 6, p Oops. 6 p.m., for example. If this is the amount of time past 6 p.m., what is this time going to be right here? If all the, it's going to be 6 p.m., right? Oh, this will be 6 o'clock, oh. right? And this will be half an hour past 6 o'clock. This will be an hour past 6 o'clock. Oh, yeah. An hour and a half, okay? okay. Yeah. That's okay, all right? So here, but now the question is slope. See, each, each question is going to be different, all right? This one says, what does the slope of the line represent? Does it Now, slope is rise over run, right? Rise over run. So it's going to be people over what? Hours. People over hours. So for example... Will it be the change in the number of hours for every additional person? No, that's backwards, right? Will it be the average rate of change in the number of people over time? Yes, right? Um, will it be the number of hours past six when there's one person in the music hall? No. The number of people in the music hall one hour after 6 p.m.? No. It's the average rate of change, that one, in the number of people over time. Does that make sense? Because slope is rise over run. If you know, if it asks you for slope, then you know it's going to be this over this. Okay? Can I get a thumbs up at least so, if you know what I'm saying? Say, so like say going like 40, it'll be 40 over, over one. Is that what you mean? Well, it, if you want to... This exact spot here, that would be 40 over one, yes. But in all, all you're gonna have to do in these problems is say people, people over 
hours or time. That's it. That's all you have to do with the problem. You don't have to say um, 40 over 1. There's going to be no numbers for the slope question. You just have to interpret the slope question. You just have to say it's people over time, and that's it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me do another one of those, okay? Um, so here, here's another ice skating one, but this one's slope. It's going to be hot cocoa over what? Over temperature, okay? So look, you have four different questions. Is it going to be temperature, hot cocoa? No. Is it going to be cocoa at one, specifically at one degree? Not. It's not going to be specifically at one degree, is it? No. It's going to, uh, the rate of change, the hot cocoa is over the temperature, right? Um, it's not temperature over hot cocos, right? It's hot cocos over temperature, right? Rise over run. So it's going to be the rate of change. Rate of change is slope, another word for slope, okay? Rate of change, okay? All right. There, um, this one is going to say, all right. This one says, what's the y value when x equals 1? Okay. Here, x equals 1. Right. Here's 1. All right. One hour per week and homework. Okay. At 1, what's the, what's the quiz score? Are you gonna are you gonna get exactly your 60 or is that going to be what the prediction is? It's the prediction, right? So it's a prediction of a student's score if they spent one hour in their homework. That's exactly what it is, a prediction. Yeah. Does that make sense? Can I have a thumbs up? Does that yeah. make sense? Okay. That one. Okay. Okay. What's the y value when x equals 50? Okay. Here, you don't have to know even what femur means. Okay. But if x is 50, okay, here's 50. Okay. If x is 50, all right. Yeah, about 180, right? 180, what? What can you read that word? Height. Height. Height is, is it a prediction or is it exact? It's a prediction, right? It predicts that your height will be 180, something like that. You see the, the height of actual person? No. The expected height. Oh, um, yeah. The expected height. No. 50 centimeters when a femur, femur has a length of 179. No. Is the femur 179? Mm -hmm. No. The height is 179. The expected height of 179 when the femur has a length of 50, right? It's that last one. Okay. Okay. Now, here, okay, here, do you see that all, all of the yellow, all of the yellow dots are actual points, all right? This, the, the line is prediction, right? The line is prediction, the dots are actual. Here, they're picking an actual point. Now they're saying this point, okay? The green one is an actual point. Mm -hmm. So in other words, 1187, 1187. They're saying the temperature is 11 and the cocoa's 87, right? Is that predicted? No. No, that's actual, right? This yeah. actually happened, okay? So uh, when the day's high temperature was 11, Nathaniel sold 87 hot cocos. Isn't that exactly what happened? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. That's exactly what happened. Okay. Yeah. Can, can, just give me another couple of seconds here. I promise. Couple of seconds. Okay. One. Um, Let's go. All right. Over here. 
0.5 and 53.1. If you spent 0.5 hours on homework, this person got a 53.1, right? Is that actual or is that predicted? That's actually, it actually happened, okay? So a student who actually spent 0.5 hours studying got a score of 53.1. Boom, okay? Let me just show you one more example, please. All right. Now, here is a line of best fit. There's actually one dot here that's actually on the line, but this blue one is just sitting on the line. Is that going to be actual or because it's on the line, is it predicted? Predict. Predicted, right? <laughs> so it's saying at one 0.5 hours, there's 160 people in the music hall. That's predicted, right? They're saying 1.5, that's an hour and a half, right? An hour and a half, right? Okay. Now, by the way, what's an hour and a half past 6 p.m.? That'll be 7.30, right? At 7.30, were there exactly 161 people? No. At 7.30, you should expect 160.5, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, I've lost you already, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. Do you understand? Do you? Okay. All right. This is Delta math, okay? But each one today is going to be um, multiple choice. But I, I want you to really... Okay. Right. Yes, I know. Okay. Um, I know, right? Do you, do you need 99 chances on a four chance problem? Okay. All right. Okay. So here, well, just let me just do this very, this will be the last one. Okay. Here's hot cocos again at the, uh, and the temperature. All right. Here, at 40 degrees, you'd expect to sell 73.5. This number is expected, right? It's not one of the yellow dots. It's actually on the line. That is a prediction, okay? Yeah. So what you're doing is this one's a prediction. Which one says prediction? When the day's high temperature is 40, Henry should expect to sell about 73.5. That's what you're going to do there, okay? That one. That's what that means. All right. Okay. You've been watching the Weiss channel. That, 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 that.